Hi, my name is Matthew Montenegro, and I'm the president of Distinguished Contracting Group. We are state certified general and roofing contractors specializing in the field of roofing. <coughs> now today I'm going to speak to you about a typical process from start to finish of how a roof takes place. First step is usually the phone call in which uh, I usually receive the overwhelming amount of those or sometimes it'd be my secretary. We go ahead and schedule an initial visit. Either I personally go out or I send out my foreman and we measure the roof. Once we measure the roof, uh, we speak with you and we ask as to what type of roof you're looking to install. Whether it's an exact replacement or whether maybe you're looking to upgrade to a tile roof or downgrade from a tile roof to a shingle roof. Once the type of roof is determined, we then go forward in the estimating process. I personally put together a detailed and typed estimate outlining all the steps and the exact materials we are using with a lump sum price. Once the bid is accepted, it then becomes a contract and then we begin the permitting process. Permitting process is uh, anywhere from three to five days and it consists of having a signed permit application along with plans getting drawn and filled out and then submitted to the corresponding building department. Once the permit's issued, I guarantee on my contract we begin the job within three working days of getting the permit. Once again, that is always weather permitting. Once we start the roof, if once again, let's say we're going with a tower roof, the most common here in South Florida, the first day will be anywhere from 10 to 15 guys out on the site in which we tear off the existing roof, throw all the debris into dumpsters, and then have the dumpsters hauled away. We then wait for the first inspection. Once our first inspection is passed, we can then move on to the second layer of the roof, also referred to as the 90 pound, when the hot asphalt machine gets brought out and the second layer gets mopped on the top of the first layer. Once that inspection is passed, we then move on to the tiling phase. The tiling phase can take anywhere from three to five days, and there is another inspection that goes on in between that as well. Now, if you want any more detailed information on the exact process and how long it takes, feel free to visit my website at www.dcgflorida.com and my direct line being 954-579-8501. And as far as start to finish time, I can usually guarantee anywhere from two to three weeks. Thank you.